We want to give a special shout out to Alexandra Sepulveda graduating from Our Lady of Lords Academy in Florida. Yay for you, Alexandra. We are proud of you. All week long, we're celebrating graduates and they're highlighting their accomplishments and inspiring stories. But after these college graduates get that diploma, the next assignment isn't always such an easy one. They're trying to find a job, uh, often in tough markets. So a month ago, we put three recent grads in a career path with Gorik Ng, a career advisor at Harvard and the author of the book, The Unspoken World Secrets to Starting Your Career Off Right. Let's watch. Hi, I'm Kira McNeil. I am 24 and I am from Jacksonville, Florida. My name is Lisa Watkins. I am 47 years old and I am from Indianapolis, Indiana. My name is Doug Woolley. I'm a senior at the University of Alabama. As Kira, Lisa and Doug turn the page on a new chapter of their lives, they are determined. I graduated in spring of 2019 from the University of Central Florida, Go Knights, with a BFA in Design and Technology of Theater. And a few months after graduation, Kira landed her dream job. The beginning of August, I jumped on a cruise ship working as their entertainment technician in their lounges. But when the pandemic hit, Kira lost her job and was forced to rethink her future. I have the skills, but I have very specific skills in a very specific area. After nannying for a year, Kira isn't sure how to get back on track. I'm looking for jobs in entertainment. I've also kind of gone into like looking to be like an executive assistant, kind of like that organizational side of the world, but I'm not really sure. I'm kind of open to whatever. So my college experience has been very, very long, over 28 years. Lisa has tried to get her college degree off and on while pregnant, raising two sons as a single mom and working full time. Now, after years of hard work, she's finally graduating. I'll be getting a bachelor's degree in business administration by May. At my age, at 47, I felt like, okay, they're not gonna hire me, I'm not young. They're not looking at me. My dream job that I have dreamed of for years being a senior administrative assistant to a VP, it will allow me to get a better home for me and my boys. It will allow me just to breathe. And she's hoping now is finally the time for her dreams to become a reality. I'm loyal. If you give me something to do, I'm going to do it. I can do it all. I, I think I can do it all. I'm studying finance and real estate, and I'll be graduating in May, so I've been pursuing commercial real estate jobs. I try to put in applications, uh, make connections, get on the phone with people. And I've had some interviews. I thought that they've gone relatively well, but I've just been unable to break through and get that offer for a, a job that I really wanted. As a recent college grad, Doug is lacking the experience other candidates have. Well, I think that I'm a self-starter. At this point, I would say that you know, I don't know what I don't know. But when it comes to your resume... After hearing their stories, Harvard College's professional career advisor, Gorik Ng, got to work. It's really tough out there. Not only are people coming out of school competing against fellow graduates, but they're competing against people who are decades into their careers, who've been there, done that, and have a resume to show. And you need a job to get a job, and no one's willing to give you a chance if you don't have relevant experience. Gorik designed a three-step plan for anyone looking for a job. Step one is figuring out where to focus your attention. And that's all about figuring out what you want and where you're most qualified. The second step is presenting your application in a way that's gonna get you that interview. And then the third step is once you have an interview, how do you get past that interview? So that you show people that you're just as good in person as you are on paper. I've really tried to focus on Gork's three C's like during the interview process. So, you know, commitment, compatibility, and uh, was it competence? So I got a journal, and so I'm going to start journaling. I got the goods and kind of figuring out what path I want to take. He's literally given me tools that even though I've been in the workforce 20 something years, it is completely switched. I have like a straight theater resume which is purple and fun, and I know how to do it. And he was basically like, no! <laughs> Hopefully, I'll hear something soon. I haven't heard anything, but I'm feeling hopeful better than when I started. All right.
right, so what did happen? Sit tight. We're going to come back. Career advisor Gork Ng and our three grads, Kira, Lisa, and Doug, will join us. Yeah, stay with us right after this. All right, before the break, we heard the story of three recent college grads, uh, Kira, Lisa, and Doug. Okay, and we met Harvard career <laughs> advisor Gork Ng, who's been working with these grads to help kick off their careers. Hey, everybody. Hi. Hi. Okay, Kira. Hi. Hi. So, Gorik, you've been working with all of them for the month. What's 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 it been like, and what's your advice to anybody? I think there's a lot of people out there yeah. looking for jobs. Yeah, Kira, Lisa, and Doug have done a fantastic job. The three big takeaways I would say for anyone who's watching this segment is to number one, craft a resume that would speak to a stranger. So, do what Kira did and look at every resume bullet point you have and ask yourself, if a stranger were to be reading this resume, would it make sense mm -hmm. to them? And mm -hmm. would they be impressed? Make mm -hmm. sure the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. Number two is to make sure you have a positive online presence. So nowadays, you can almost be sure that any recruiter or hiring manager mm -hmm. will mm -hmm. have stalked you online and looked at what you've done. So do what Lisa did and make sure that your entire work history is on LinkedIn or on a personal awesome. website if you have one. Mm -hmm. And lastly, don't be afraid to reach out cold. Send that cold email just like Doug did. Make a list of leaders in teams, departments, and companies that speak to you and write them a custom note talking about how you're interested in the work they do, how your background can help them achieve their goals, and how you're interested in speaking with them or a member of their team. Uh, in the end, it's all about selling yourself. Yeah, that's, that's what the job search is all about. Uh, that's all. That's terrific advice. And guys, I think a lot of people are watching the news and you keep seeing like there are so many jobs and not people to fill them. But we're talking about jobs. That careers. You, these are yeah. careers that you guys are talking about. So let's start with you, Kira. So I, I know your resume was purple and you didn't <laughs> like it, so you changed it. But tell us where you stand now in your job search. So I am in talks with a theater. Um, I have said yes to the position, but I am waiting for a contract, so I don't want to say too much because I'm kind of superstitious. So crossing my fingers. Oh. Girl, yes, awesome. yes, yes. <laughs> we, that's so great. Okay, Lisa, Hoda and I were watching you, and we were like, if she hasn't already been hired, <laughs> there are many people calling you on the phone because yes. your determination stood through. Oh, yes. And so talk to us about what's been going on in your job search. Um, so far, I've been searching. I had a video interview. They went another way. So I'm still just out here trying. I'm still trying. Look, we think that anybody who um, who worked until, I mean, started started the, the college course and then completed it at this stage, that yes. shows uh, someone who does not quit. We are on your team, Lisa, all the way. So we know something's going to pop. Yeah. Somebody watching today yeah. is going to say, oh, my gosh, look at Lisa. All right, Doug, tell us where we are. Tell us where we are. So I just graduated and I, I came home and I've been applying for interviewing for jobs. And as it stands right now, it looks like I'm gonna not, going to get an offer by the end of the week. Uh, I was talking to someone on the team, and they said that if HR grants the position, then they'll make me an offer. Oh, awesome. I think that's great, and I think you guys are all on the right track. And I think these kind of things are so important, Gork. So tell us this. Could you, you know, sometimes you say just reach out cold. And I was actually talking to a young lady who got a job uh, years ago at the White House, and she wrote in the subject line, I have no connections, but I work hard. Just so something to pop out, because I can only imagine the flood yes. of emails that people are getting, and why would they look at uh, anything in the subject line that said, like, job resume, resume. Yeah. Blah, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. And one of the things that Kira, Lisa, and I talked about time and time again is that pushing send on that job application can only get you so far. It might be instantly gratifying, but all you're really doing is putting your resume onto a big pile that may never even get. So reaching out is essential in this process. Mm -hmm. Well, we know we were talking earlier. There are a lot of lower level jobs out mm -hmm. there. What should you do if you're on the career hunt? Should you take one of those jobs or do you just dedicate all your time to looking for that career? Yeah, it's a good question. And there's always this tension between finding the absolute best job and best career that exists in the universe and finding the next best option for you. 
What I often tell folks is that your first job won't be your last job. Mm -hmm. Your first job will often set you up for your next job and your next job and your next job. So yes, it can be sometimes, it can feel like a setback mm -hmm. to have maybe taken a job that's less desirable, but if you are using this opportunity to build relationships, to build skills, to build your resume, to build your network, this can set you up for a much more fulfilling long-term career. It's really what you make of that experience that matters. Yeah. You never know who you're going to meet on that job you don't want yes. that could kind of change the course. <laughs> we want to thank you guys all. We're cheering you on all the way. Keep us posted on, mm -hmm. on when you get those confirmations. And Lisa, we know it's coming for you. Yes, it is. We're excited. And Gork is going to continue to work with all of you, so we are going to check in soon to see how y'all are doing. Thank you, guys. Yeah. All right, thanks guys. And to help you look as professional as you're feeling, by the way, we want to tell you a little something. Macy is gonna give all three of you a $500 gift card. Yeah, come for on. For a brand new professional wardrobe. Get some clothes. <laughs> Take off the sweatpants. Yeah. We're all Zoom. All right, guys, thank you.